So I took another look through the literature and uh, turns out actually there is some very decent data for NMN having some uh, longevity effects and actual mechanistic effects as well. But the total number of studies and the breadth of populations it's been studied on, is just not enough for me to go singing its praises all the fucking time, which is why I mentioned it now twice ever in public. Pulled up for it both times? Right, yes. Yeah. And, and so... Um, it's just something I take as a hedging mechanism of like, maybe it does something. Uh, I just swallow it. Right. But I swallow a lot of other things. Most, in any case, I won't get into that. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> shut up <laughs> again. So if there were these pills I could take that reliably increased longevity, I would love that. I would love if there were supplements like that. There's resveratrol. There's a few other candidates, but none of them have that like, dude, are you, is this really worth my money for sure? Like if someone's eating only 80 grams of protein per day and they're like, I can't eat any more real food. Should I take supplements? You're like, yes. Like, will it help with muscle mass? Yes. Like how many studies? Hundreds on everyone. There's nothing like that for longevity supplements. So in 2024, if someone's selling you longevity supplements, they could be onto something. And there could be some valuable stuff people have in their formulations that actually works, but nothing that we can be ultra super sure about. And really quick, no small number of shady fucking supplement companies will tell you, you got to take this. It's going to make you live longer. And to every single one of them are, if their claims are extreme, they're bullshitting you. 